Cumberland Island, land of the wild horses and the southernmost barrier island off the Georgia coast. No oh, man, having flashbacks of Carrot Island. Rumor has it that the ponies of uh, Cumberland Island are a more sophisticated breed than the man-eaters of Carrot Island, so we'll just have to see. Hopefully they're not as elusive as the ones on Carrot Island, isn't that right? They better not be. Yeah, we, we expect to see some ponies. <laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> Molly, what on earth is this place? I have no idea. Tammy, I, I seriously just have no idea what I'm looking at here. I think it was one of the houses that they lived in when they first settled here. The horses? No, the people. Oh. I'm looking at all these various ruins and things here on Cumberland Island. I have no idea what I'm looking at. We're gonna have to try to research this stuff after the fact and see what it is that we're actually looking at. Yeah. But so far, most of Cumberland Island looks like these uh, kind of sandy dirt roads with really big old trees. And I think at least half of Georgia's population of mosquitoes is right here on Cumberland Island. Tampy, pony. Just over yonder. We think we've spotted a pony. It doesn't appear dangerous. <laughs> huh. Out there's there's woods and kind of this uh, grassland area and then right here boom all of a sudden it's sand this big sandy hill and all here's all these sand dunes here's this windswept tree and on the other side of that there's more woods and stuff and then over yonder maybe another eighth of a mile or so there's uh the atlantic ocean this is just a i don't know very very odd terrain i've never been anywhere quite like this before We made it, ladies! Good job, good job! That's looking north. That's looking south. That's looking up. And that's looking down. This is look. Ow! Oh, God! I hate to say it, guys, but we're gonna have to get back to the dinghy. We have a long walk through the woods. Don't want to get lost in the dark on Cumberland Island. Even though we've now, uh, Come to the conclusion that the horses on Cumberland Island are not man-eaters. I was talking to Tammy, I was like, hey, there's a pony. And the pony was like, hey. He must have thought I was talking to him. I'll cut that out. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Fun day, ladies. Fun day. Good job. Good job. drag the dinghy way up away from the water because we're at low tide right now and if we were to just put a sand anchor way out here when we came back the dinghy would be just floating way out in the water if we were lucky if we weren't lucky the dinghy would be gone altogether so that's why we 
go through the effort of dragging it up to this here wall. Oh, and by the way, this is day two on Cumberland Island. We're probably a solid uh, half mile into this middle of uh, Cumberland Island now. But uh, I just wanted to let you know that we practice extreme maritime safety. And a shining example of that is how Molly's still wearing her life jacket. Because you never know when we might have like a, a sudden tidal surge or a tsunami or something like that. Isn't that right, Molly? Is that why you're wearing your life jacket? No, I just forgot to take it off. I'm still just amazed at this vegetation and how thick and raw and wild everything here seems. I mean, this is, this is literally the closest I've ever been to something like a jungle. With the exception of this uh, chain link fence that's here in the background. We found the ranger station. And this is what we did all that walking for. Tamby wanted a mat. We're inside the Cumberland Island Ranger Station. This is all stuff that people found here on the beach, I guess. There's also um, pigs or wild boars on this island. Wild turkeys walking down the sandy beach. Molly. Yeah? What are you doing? Taking a video. Oh, nice. Of all the, all, of all the trees. Yeah? Good job. I like it. This place is just great. Look how wide open and flat this is. Hey. Yeah? What do you think of the beach here on Cumberland Island? I like it. What do you like about it? Um, I just like to see the sand and sometimes just get my feet wet. Is there anything about Cumberland Island that is more special than all the other places we've been? Horses. You like the horses? Any other animals? Um, birdies. I like the birds. What do you call those funny little round ones with the shell? What little ones? Oh, army lilies. Yeah! found exactly one shark tooth in my entire life. Every time I go to the beach and there's any kind of shells like this on the ground, I'm always on the hunt for shark teeth. And I know people that have like jars full of shark teeth and I don't know what the secret is. It's got to be just the some beaches have more of them than others or something but I don't know. I always, always kind of fool myself. I see these little black triangular pieces and I get excited for a second but it doesn't actually end up being shark teeth 99.999% of the time. But there was that one time I found a shark tooth. I'd love to find one of those big huge megalodon teeth but I guess for somebody that's only found one teeny little shark tooth in their entire life 
Finding a Megalodon tooth is probably not in the cards. Show him my big shell. You mean that big shell? Yes. That is a big shell. He'll flip it over. Oh man, that's as big as your hand. Uh-huh. That is a, oh man, I just noticed this fist full of shells you got over here too. Yeah. Wow. You got I'm going to sort them out. Yeah, how many can you take back to the boat? Um, about like three or four. Yeah. <laughs> or five or six. We were wondering what this hump of stuff is in the sand here. It kind of looked like a polished, uh, I don't know, palm tree trunk. But when we got up here closer to it, it's actually the hull of a boat. Fiberglass. You can see the, uh, you see the fiberglass strands where the, where the paint is polished off of it. Nope. Yep. Some old wrecked boat. I mean, pretty, pretty good ways up away from the water. Just completely covered by sand. I just found this thing in sand. Any guesses as to what this might be? I kind of feel like it's like the lower jawbone to some kind of a fish, but I don't, I don't know exactly what. That would be my best guess anyways. That is humongous though. This beach has some of the best shelling. Like here for instance. You see the elusive sand 50 cent piece. Goodbye, Cumberland Island Beach. What a lovely beach. It's a beautiful beach. I mean, I really, really liked that beach. In fact, let's see. I'm going to go out and say that I think that Cumberland Island has probably been my favorite stop. Is this the way we go? Well, we can go the trail or the road. The trail takes us on that boardwalk. Let's do the boardwalk thing again. Yeah.